What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? I guess I can still say that, right, without being called, um, I don't know, genderphobic or something like that. I still think there are ladies and gentlemen in the world, regardless of what the left say. You can't call people by their first title. You can't be Mr. or Mrs. You got to be, uh, excuse me, gender person one and gender person two. I'm not sure what the new rule is. But anyway, nonetheless, um, happy Thanksgiving. A lot going on in the news uh, first things first, why won't Hillary Clinton just go away? Okay. She was on TV the other day and, or some radio show or something. And once again, coming up with more reasons why she lost the election. Um, and I'm going, you know what? You just are a glutton for punishment and you don't even see it. Um, there comes that time where you say, you know what? Let me use some deductive reasoning and check the temperature. Let me see which way the wind is blowing. And it's not blowing in my favor right now. Don't kick the field going to the wind, Hillary. All right. You want to kick it with the wind. And, and, and right now the wind is going against you. This is the time to just punt the ball away. Just just pull your parachute and get out while you can before the whole plane crashes. And it's kind of hilarious because you see when 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 the liberal media start kind of walking back from you, you know, it's, it's getting pretty bad. Um. But, you know, she's weighing in on topics that she has no right to really weigh in on, like, you know, being a champion for women and believing women and and all of the sexual assault accusations that are flowing. Um, and then had the nerve to even mention that she one of the reasons why she lost was because of a large portion of white nationalists that voted for Donald Trump because they all are Hitler in disguise, many Hitlers just all over America. And what kills me about that is I'm going to see, there you go again. If the Democrats do not distance themselves from identity politics, and if they don't come up with a new strategic plan besides let's hate Donald Trump, the harder we hate them, the more people will support us. If they don't come up with a new plan, they will never win. And I'm going to tell you, when it comes to identity politics, it's not always pandering towards a special interest group it's also using the old reverse mind trick trying to make people feel ashamed if they are associated with a certain group or identity so when she says things like white nationalists and she makes that seem like that's the overwhelming amount of people who supported trump subconsciously what that's telling everybody who voted for him is you voted with the white nationalists so therefore, subconsciously, you must be a part of the white nationalist. She's trying to shame you from being a part of an identity uh, group. And it just doesn't work. It really doesn't. And the fact that you're doing that to a lot of Americans who even voted for Obama the last election. And you're trying to make them seem like just because they voted for Trump this time, it was based off of racism when many of them voted for President Obama the last time. So by saying that and trying to make people feel like something must be wrong for you if you voted for Donald Trump, you must either support white nationalism or you must be a part of white nationalism. Therefore, you don't want to be identified with that group. So next term, you need to shy away from them so you don't fall into the category of a white nationalist. Now, I don't know about you, but the last time I looked in the mirror, I don't look like no white nationalist, okay? I'm not running around saying, you know what, I know the constipation, and I know my rights, and I, you know what we're going to do? We're going to take this country back. We're going to make it white again. Not right, white. I'm not running around saying that. I'm a black man. So you trying to make me feel like I'm, I'm connected with the white nationalist? I don't know. What you trying to do, Hillary? I don't know. But anyway, the point that I'm trying to make is the heat is on you. It's probably time. To just say, you know what, let me go find me a nice rocking chair, sit back with Bill, we just smell the air, you know, smell the daisies and just watch your grandchildren grow up and see what happens to Chelsea. Just do that. Just go somewhere and sit down. You know how old people, when they get old, they're, they're not involved in all the muck and the mire. They go somewhere and they're content to just sit on the rocking chair with a flannel shirt on, with just dress socks and tennis shoes and jeans in the summertime talking about nonsense you know the man's just sitting there like oh those flowers sure look green mm -hmm, they look just like money simple stuff 
Now, it's, well, four o'clock, we might as well get ready to go to bed. Yeah, that's what you and Bill need to do. Because with all of the controversy going on around uh, the Uranium One deal and all of the controversy going on around the, the Russian dossier, you would think that a person that got the heat on them wouldn't be out in the middle of public like Al Capone or somebody just taking pictures and, and talking about how victimized she was during the last election. So Hillary, my advice to you, no, I'm not even going to give you the advice because the bottom line, you done broke so many laws. You're so corrupt. You probably need to just go ahead and turn yourself in. Just turn yourself in. Go down there like this. Lock me up. But anyway, moving on. Um, President Trump finally weighed in on the Roy Moore situation. Now, you know, there's a lot of controversy going on right now because, see, when you open up the can, when you open up Pandora's box, when you let the monkey out the bag, it's real hard to put the monkey back in. You know how it is. When that monkey get out, he's like, you, know, <laughs> you can't put him back in. He's all over to be swinging rope to rope and you're like, get back here. He's not coming back. So now what has happened is they done opened up this whole flood of accusations and they're not just flying at Roy Moore. Now they're starting to uh, get pointed back to the Democratic Party. And so now it's putting everybody in a position like, OK, crap, a couple of weeks ago, I was ready. I was able to go real hard in on Roy Moore. But now the heat's on a couple of our own congressmen and senators. So how do I play this? Which it's about time uh, that some information start coming out about some of these 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 liberal Democrats and senators and congressmen because they are quick to stick a microphone in the face of a Republican and say, did you hear about Roy Moore? Tell us, do you support him? Because if you do, that means you support sexual assault. You know, so now the Democrats got to field that same question too. And you can't go, well, Roy Moore uh, shouldn't do this and he should step down and he should whatever. But uh, my guys, Franklin, all the rest of the posse, nah, they're good. You know, let's wait till the facts come out. Let's wait till the details come out. But yet nobody wants to wait till the details come out about Roy Moore. Um, and I will say, you know, it is good that a lot of women are coming out and, and, and speaking up. But, you know, it, what concerns me is how it applies to see when it's a random thing, like, for example, with uh, uh, Weinstein. OK, he's not running for anything. They're not using it for these women. I don't assume would use it for political reasons. Um, and, you know, there was no motive. They just came out and say, hey, man, Weinstein's a perv. He, he tried to do this and this and that. It makes it suspicious, though, when somebody's running for some type of office and you don't hear anything. And then all of a sudden, at the last second, a lot of people just come out. And that's what makes it it kind of is it's suspect. But at the same time, there's a there's a balance. You got to say, OK, well, how do I handle this? Do I just say whatever y'all y'all making it up or do I just jump in and say, you know what? You guys obviously are telling the truth. Therefore, this person's life should be ruined. Now, let's be real. Any of us in here, if we didn't do something and somebody was accusing us of it and we knew that not only would it ruin my career, it would ruin my reputation forever. I think everybody in here would fight. Uh, to the end to defend their honor, defend their reputation, their legacy. And the difference with Roy Moore and some of these other congressmen, for the most part, is several of them already done admitted it. You know, at least Roy Moore is like, man, I didn't do it. I'm telling you, I didn't do it. Some of these other guys, like uh, Franklin, he got the hands on the boobs, and he's like, oh, yeah, I might have did that. I don't know if I did. That was messed up, but, um, you know, I, I don't know. I might, You know, I, maybe it was on Quaaludes back then, you know, torn with Aerosmith. Who knows? But um, the point I'm trying to make is when you get them admitting it, now all of a sudden it's like, okay, well, at least we don't have to wait on the facts. At least we don't have to guess and wonder what their motive is. This man admitted it. So therefore, yes, there should be some repercussions. But in the case of Roy Moore, where he's going, I did not do that. And yet they're saying, well, I did. And another thing about that, whenever you see that one attorney sitting next to somebody with the red coat on all the time, it's always suspect. You know, with the box of tissues and she's sitting there patting her back and all that stuff. And I'm going, you happen to show up every time like a buzzard when 
something's dead around. You just come like, you know, when something's dead, buzzards, you're like, okay, something's dead over there. When she show up, that's what I'm, I'm always smelling something dead. I'm smelling a rat. I'm going, wait a minute. Why are you there with the red coat? And don't you have a different item to wear always with the red coat running around? But anyway, bottom line is when you see things like that happen during an election process, that's the stuff that make you go, hmm, what else could be motivating these type of accusations? Therefore, we have to be careful to just jump in and say, well, if they said it, it must be true. And I would hope that these women would not make stuff up like this, not realizing that, yeah, I might get some quick fame or some financial benefits from it, maybe even a book or whatever. But at the same time, I'm ruining a person's life, his family, so on and so forth. I would hope they wouldn't do that. I really would, you know, but at the same time, you have to give Roy Moore the ability to lease, uh, defend himself. And unless they can absolutely prove he did it or unless he can absolutely prove he didn't do it, you're at a stalemate. So what do you do? And I think President Trump was saying, hey, all I know is, number one, we don't need another liberal in that state representing the state of Alabama. And number two, Roy Moore said he didn't do it. So what else can you do? It's the same thing with Vladimir Putin. He said, I didn't do it. What do you do? Jumping, fighting? Huh? What do you, I mean, there's this at that point, it's like, well, OK, either we got to put up or we got to shut up. We can keep saying all oh, the Russians were part of. But at the same time. If we can't absolutely say, hey, man, here's your signature on this, Mr. Uh, Putin, you know, and here's some video footage of you going, yes, we will destroy America. You know, we, we just got to go, OK, so what do we do? We move on. And at this point with the Roy Moore situation, you just got to let the people make that decision and go from there. So it's a messed up situation. But it looks like almost everybody on both sides of the aisle now is getting an equal opportunity in the hot seat. And I'm interested to see how the liberals are going to handle their own. Are they going to call for their resignation? Are they going to stick the cameras in their face and say, I want you to disavow all of the people who was accused? Because I saw earlier today, people already on the Democrat side was saying, well, I mean, they just accused them, but that doesn't mean we, we have to wait for the facts. I'm like, Nobody wants to wait for the facts when all those people came out about Trump or even with more. They're like, we don't need facts. Facts is irrelevant. And that's the hypocrisy of the left. And finally, Russia, you know, Hillary said Russia hacked the election. That bothers me every time I hear that because I don't understand what that means. I hacked the election. Please tell me there's only certain ways you could have affected the election. And then when you try to link Donald Trump with that, what are you really saying? Are you saying that out of nowhere, Vladimir Putin said to call up Donald Trump. He's our secret agent. Now we will use him. And he says, OK, I'm going to hack the election for you, Donald. For what? I mean, Russia hasn't become closer to us. We haven't benefited Russia in no form or fashion. There's been nothing that Russia has done that is so clear that it made a difference in the election. They're still trying to blame Russia on hacking and getting the DNC's emails, which is a bunch of garbage. We all know that, you know, when Julian Assange said, man, I didn't, hey, I didn't get my info from the Russians. You probably could believe that considering everything else he said was spot on. All right. And, and then secondly, they never let the FBI even look at that server to find out who really did hack the uh, server. So don't give me that garbage that, oh, it was the Russians who released those emails. Bullcrap. Then they tried to put it on ads. And I'm going, the ads were equally distributed as well. And it wasn't even that many of them, you know. And please show me one of the ads that, that they put on Facebook that I would look at and go, huh. That totally changed my opinion about the election and Hillary Clinton, you know. So when you say they hacked it, no votes were changed. None, none. And the whole collusion thing, first of all, there's not even a law for collusion in, in, in that application. And if anybody was to do any collusion with the Russians, it was the Hillary camp. But my question is, what exactly is the accusation when they say collusion? How do they even attempt to implement Donald Trump in that and what would be the strategy 
that him and Putin sat down together and came up with. Where where were the meetings? Where there were there phone calls between Putin and, and Trump? I mean, were they having backdoor meetings somewhere? I mean, there's no link whatsoever to make anybody believe that the Russians, quote unquote, hacked our election. And they give you this broad, vague definition of what that means. And yet they want us to believe that that was the result of Hillary Clinton losing this election. Once again, propaganda, manipulation and bull crap. So for the Democrats, y'all need to let the Russian thing go. Nobody's buying it. Y'all need to drop the identity poli politics. And finally, you need to kick Hillary so far over the fence that we can't go get her. OK, it's like when you was a kid. You kicked the ball so far over the fence, you couldn't go get it. You're just looking like, oh, man, Craig, it's it's too far. Man, why don't you just buy another ball? I ain't jumping that fence and going to get it. Yeah, they need to get somebody else in there to be the face of the Democratic Party because they should kick her so far over the fence where they're going, I, I can't even see her no more. She's gone. She's too far. Just forget it. Forget it. We just move on. So anyway, that's uh, Kevin's commentary um on a couple different issues that's going on in the public side first of all i want to also thank everybody who has been supporting kevin's corner and i'm, I'm telling you i'm i'm choked up over the fact that you guys have been a blessing to me for real and um a lot of things have been happening in fact um i was recently contacted by another uh black conservative who wants to collaborate and do some things wants me to come on his show and and I think that would be wonderful. I've been following his Brandon Tatum. I've been following his channel. Excellent guy. He was one of the first people that I actually um, saw speak out about Donald Trump during the election. And I sent his video, his testimony about how when he went into the rally trying to see what is really going on. I mean, they saying it's violent. You know, you would have read if you would have saw CNN you would have thought that you walk into a Trump rally and the first thing you're what the what in the heck are you doing here, boy? You you know what? Somebody go get some ropes and go get some. You would have thought that that was going on. So he decided to come in, come in and investigate for himself. And he said it was nothing like that. And it moved on from there, kind of changed his whole perspective on it. And he started, you know, becoming conservative, I guess. And now, you know, he's been blessed Got a wonderful uh, show. I think it's called Brandon Breakfast with Brandon. So we'll be uh, connecting and hopefully you get a chance to hear us speak on some issues. And thank you for your support. There's some links in the bottom. Feel free to click on any of those links. Uh, people have been purchasing my T-shirts and sending donations to Kevin's Corner because I want to step it up. I want to one day be out of my car. Maybe once in a while, though, I might step back into the car. I might miss it. Like, let me go back to my roots post up in the car and some but anyway um so continue to support i appreciate it thank you very much god bless you and happy thanksgiving and i'm thankful for a lot of stuff thankful for my family thankful for my lord jesus christ and i'm thankful that hillary clinton did not win the presidency we would have been ushered in to the final stage of history if she would have gotten to the presidency so keep faith alive God bless you. God bless America.